On gratitude for Jack Foner, Thanksgiving 2020. We do not keep this festival. Instead, the compulsive pull of someone else's pain, or how the hare attempts to lay its leaping ghosts and dogs in the slow burn of their silhouettes. A sharper calm in empty streets, we walk through an avoidant light in freezing fog, succumb to the hopeless gravitational chatter of emergencies. On the news, there are small gods, maverick and immovable, gods of tantrum and frontier disdain, swollen gods of mute prospect. Living is by no means unavoidable, and listen. Those who are here have survived and bless our senseless durational luck. Those who are not have not and Christ, all those senate faces shed on an ending grammar of tears, mouthing their mortalities to carcass meal, a body worth its weight in votes. We do not keep this festival. Instead, the sorrowing operations of flesh, love, our balm and tender bane, guilt and other golden niceties, Bitcoin, cr plenary, Krugerrands, apartheid, obols, bent doubloons and brother, when mercy's purse is empty. To live in clothes, stale talk sublime to idiocy, ours we cannot fumble through for nothing, the hand and its moot cleaving always ink in its swift and blameless ebbing, to feel part of yourself rub off on the world, faint as tailor's chalk, a taste they talk from mouths in naming, oh, and strip the mascot skin off me. Trees like raised shillelaghs, bold as dying young. In the mirror, we have traced our waking edges like a pair of delicate skeptics, blandly sickened by the work of going upright in the world. We do not keep this festival, and yet, how mouths grow out their carnivore vows in the saying, and flags in their failed and spreading dream of us. We are still here to walk through the proudly competing nauseas of all their raptured whiteness, hawk, where they spit their small island adjectives or assay a possible space gone vague, they are weavers of rope, whatever, aspirant hangmen, we are not them, there is much to do in the hot, wavering space of lament. In the phantom towns of slight return, wanton with amnesty in the spent clip, the predicament of beads in the dandelion loins of hope in zoo or over. And begin with this, the shimmering acid onslaught of having loved and having love, and they have not in the smithy of their obliviousness boiled it out of you. Bless days of perturbation and reprieve. Bless the mere infinities of boys become their own craving, zodiac, rapid cycling, manic states. Bless them too. Bless the accents we can't shake, how a vertigo clings to flatteries, practised iams, no matter what we say. Bless the girls in their cameos of fire and thirst. Bless the dogs and the therapists, the sponsor's voice like sweetened tea. Bless the wards, bless the pigs, by which I mean, may something fuck them subtle, may their febrile petals part and let light in just once. Bless all those bastards, agents of a partisan hygiene here to wipe us out. For we do not keep this festival. Instead, walking, starved of touch and all the wood songs, spaces in between hedgerow warblers and throwing my sickle cautions to the floor to speak of love. Have I not sounded the bell of this before? Then let me know, as the eye accelerates through text and text and text and cannot ken the limits of its singing, to have you in my life, a flat silver aura burning, describing a kind of halo near the heart, like how it lifts your head, like how it keeps you going, how I wish I could do more. Keep instead this being in the teeth of, stripping the bed sheets. dusk comes without signal. We will scrawl our survival over every inch of their dominion. Find a fire, molten and coaxed. Use it always for those who cannot.